Hi, hello, and welcome. Welcome back to series six of Doctor Who. I couldn't be prouder. And before we get into what we're doing today, I just want to explain what you're seeing on the screen at the moment, because I think many of you just don't know what this is all about. At the moment in Germany, we're having a celebration. It is called Fasnacht. And if you translate it, it literally translates into carnival. It's one week of getting dressed up and looking like somebody else and just going out, having fun, celebrating. And this is why I chose to do the very same, but just at home <laughs> in my safe space in front of the camera for everyone to see. Yay! <laughs> also, I chose a very specific costume. I mean, the hair is not very accurate, but if you can tell, I am supposed to be a police officer and I am doing this in honor to celebrate one of my favorite characters from series five and I guess series six too, Amy, that in the first episode appeared as a police officer. So this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Also, I look kind of pinkish if I look into the screen. It looks very funny. And I don't know, it's just some something funny that I wanted to do. And I hope everyone out there, I don't know if everyone out there, but the majority of you people out there do like it and think it's funny as well. I really hope I'm not alone with this one. And now I am about to explain to you what we are going to do. We have watched the entirety of series five of Doctor Who in the last weeks and it was awesome. I had so much fun and I took one week off from Doctor Who to kind of recover and get myself back together so that I am so ready to get into this sixth series with you. But before we're doing that, today we're going to have a very special day because we are going to watch not the first episode of the six series, but we're going to watch not one, not two, not three, but four minisodes that belong into series six and that I will watch today together with each and every single one of you out there. This is some kind of preparation for the big day tomorrow when series six, episode one will air. And I can't wait to get into this one. Get ready, everyone, in front of your computers, televisions, cell phones, whatever you're using to watch this reaction and get ready to have some fun. Every single minisode is about three to four, sometimes almost five minutes long. They're very short. Unfortunately, I will have to cut them up for YouTube. I know it's only four minutes, but and some of them that was in the comments the last time I watched a minisode. People were saying, yeah, but this is already on YouTube, so you can just leave it there. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that, although a video could already be up on YouTube. I cannot copy it one to one. It's not, it's just not possible because if I do it, it will get copyright strike. I tried and I failed. So I'm not trying again. Unfortunately, I will have to cut it up for YouTube, but we're gonna have fun anyways. And you can always go to my Patreon. You can go over there and you can watch each and every single Doctor Who episode that I have ever watched on full length, uncut. You can go there if you have your own copy and watch it together with me and there will be no cuts at all. So let's get into those reactions. I do not know anything about them other than that they are four and there is no specific order to watch them, but my mod did his best to put them in some order that makes sense. I do know there, um, two of them are comic relief sketches, I guess, 
and that this means they were like shown on a red nose day in on BBC which means it was a, a kind, some kind of a fundraiser that was shown that day on television and there were like funny sketches to get people to donate more money so I'd say let's get into the very first one. This is the first part to a two-parter and it is called Space. That's literally everything I know and I'm so curious if it's going to be the Math Doctor or some other doctor that we haven't seen for some time. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea but I want to get into this as fast as I can. So let's get into it. I always enjoy the music. Oh, Matt Smith. I know that one. I don't know if I'm supposed to look at the names. I don't know. I'm not going to look at the names because I do, they do want to be surprised. Because what if David comes back? I, <laughs> I don't want to be surprised by that. Space. Okay, so we're in the TARDIS with Amy and the Doctor. Hello! Listen, can we talk? Rory! I doesn't want to talk to her. <laughs> what are you doing? Helping the Doctor? Um, it's humming. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. We're just entering conceptual space. I come here, get to go. You never let me have a go. Uh, Doctor, go. Seriously, I let her drive my car once. You have to the end of the road. Expected <laughs> house. Oh, he's jealous because I passed my test first time. You cheated. You wore a skirt. I didn't wear a skirt. Doctor? No. Neither did her driving examiner. Actually, it's this one. <laughs> it's this skirt. Oh. Oh, what just happened? We're all so happy. I don't know. Rory! Rory. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, how did you do that? I told you, don't drop them. I specifically mentioned not drop them. I know, what did that... <laughs> what did that do? <laughs> it was my skirt and my husband and your glass bone. Oh, Rory. Sorry. <laughs> Should be fine. Should have locked off the second place available. <laughs> Oh, we're back. Right? What just happened? Oh. We do have seats in the TARDIS. We do have... Wait. We do have a TARDIS in the TARDIS? What? Safest spot available. The TARDIS is materialized inside itself. Yeah, well... Is that supposed to no, I guess not. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. Uh, okay. Oh my god, uh, that is super creepy. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's true. You won't be bored. Wait, what? We're stuck. The inside of the TARDIS is now close to the outside of the TARDIS. True. Oh my god. <gasps> Ever again. I don't think so. Okay, kids. What? This is where it gets complicated. Yeah, I knew she would say that. I knew it. That was what she was saying in the finale episode. This is where it gets complicated. She was saying that to herself as well as in this sketch. She was saying this is where it gets complicated to the young Amy in the museum. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. And I can't wait to see the second part now. I don't want, even want to talk about it so much because it was just super fun. I would love to see a whole episode of that because this is something that could be really funny. Them being caught up in the TARDIS and they have to figure something out. Only those three like bantering forth and back all the time. That could feel like 45 minutes. I can see that. Oh my gosh. But it's just a minisode. Well, unfortunately, but I mean, <laughs> we do get it. What am I complaining about? Let's get to the second part. Oh, 
By the way, I totally forgot to talk about my new background setting. Oh my gosh, I really forgot that. Well, this is it. <laughs> this is my new background setting for series six. We have moved rooms and we're getting closer to what it is go finally going to look like. And as you can see behind me, there is a poster. If I wasn't wearing a hat, you could see like properly. Um, and there are like, what are those called again? W little wardrobes. <laughs> I forgot the name. And this one is actually the cat tree. This one on the right, left. I don't know where you will see it in the picture. And this is a cat tree. And the, kid, the cats can also go, move up on here. So there is a possibility that you can see them again in the future in videos. Also up there, there is a place for them. But th uh, this is actually a bit too high. I don't know why we did that. There's no possible way they can jump up there. I don't think so, but we wanted to put another on here, right over here, but there is like something behind the wall and we can't do that. So we're stuck with <laughs> this half finished thing. Maybe we can put up something over here. I don't know. And there is David. He's always there with me. So this is the new setup. Let's get into <laughs> part two. I don't know if you wanted to know anything about that. Let's get into part two of this two part. I'm very, very curious where you're going to end up. And this is only three minutes long. I mean, short. Oh, I wish it was longer. Okay. Oh. Oh, I love that intro music. But then again, it's only three minutes. I want to see the episode. Yeah, this one's called Time. I don't remember if I said that. Who the hell are you? I'm you <laughs> from your future. I'm you from your future. If you step into the box now, you step inside the control room a tiny bit into the past. Oh, that is oh, so I cool. Neither do I. Me neither. <laughs> just repeating it. I'm just remembering what I heard myself saying when I was standing where you are now and repeating it. I'm just repeating this too. And this. And this. Uh, Oh, what? <laughs> to the established chain of events, one mistake and the whole timeline could collapse. We'll end up with two Emmy Ponds forever. And then what would you do? I mean, wouldn't be. <laughs> go, go. Do I really look like that? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I give you a driving license. You look so beautiful. Uh, Pond flirting with herself, true love at last. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rory. Absolutely no problem at all. Now! I oh my gosh, Rory, stop! <laughs> Complicated. Gotcha. I mean, I get it. So, but, that yeah. It? Are you okay now? No. And her hair is even more beautiful than mine. <laughs> oh gosh, no! <laughs> Well, from your point of view, <laughs> you're about to tell us to get into the police box. From our point of view, you just told us to get into the police box. <laughs> No. I remember all of that. Yeah, it just sort of happens. Hi. Hey, <laughs> that. You two in the police box now. Run. Yeah, you just. What are you doing? I'm setting up the control temple implosion. It's the only way to reset the TARDIS. But unless I find exactly the right lever to control the implosion. Oh, please don't. This is way too funny. No. But I'm about to find out. <laughs> the Wibbly lever. The Wibbly lever. Thank you. That was super cool. Okay. Self that localized time field is no longer about to implode and rip a hole in all causality, but just in case. Put some trousers on. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny. That was super funny. I enjoyed it very, very much. Oh gosh. This, by the way, is what I expect Series 6 to be for the most part. Well, at least until River pops up again and everything changes and nothing is what it was before. 
But before that, I want all the episodes to look like this. Those three joking, being funny all the time, bantering and just... I want to laugh, I want to have fun with those three. This is what I want to see. Oh, please let it be. And by the way, like in between the episode, I had the idea that maybe this is the start to the first episode of series six. And that this could be a longer story. But yeah, unfortunately it got solved very quickly. So I'm going to have to deal with that. <laughs> But I'm sure the writers of Doctor Who will come up with something very intriguing for the first episode of Series 6. But before we get there, we still have two more Minnesots to watch. Yay! The third one is called Bad Night. Okay. Bad Night. And then there will be another one called Good Night. So first we'll have a bad night and then the night will get better. Let's see if that is actually true. Okay, this one is 3 minutes and 39 seconds. Let's get into it. Oh, there is no funny music at all. Uh, sounds like a fairy tale. Oh, but first we did the bad night, so I suppose this won't be funny. And we're starting in the TARDIS again. Will someone pick up the telephone, please? Hello? Anybody there? <laughs> Is there an answering machine? <laughs> I suppose not. Oh! <gasps> She's in her pajamas? Speaking? Uh, sorry, the Prince of Where? The prince. Um, what year is this? I think that's probably for me. Okay. Hello. Ah, yes, everything's fine. Don't that dog looks so cute. Well, exactly. Why should you be worried? The hat. Well, she's busy. Well, you know, the Commonwealth. It's your son, Mom. He wants to talk to you. We uh, what? You're a fish. Sorry, I've got another call coming in. Hello? Uh-huh. Yes, and until you've turned Her Majesty here back into a human being, he's staying put. Don't worry, he's perfectly safe. Oh, she got... Yeah. Uh... Oh, it's dead? What have you done? Was that... I thought... Was it related to the... Goldfish? So much for the slaughter of ten billion souls. It was a slight incident. Wait, what? What? So you sneak out at night to parties? Hold on, you're dressed up. You never dress huh. up. <laughs> Just don't lie to me, Doctor. You're rubbish at it. Look, I do not sneak out at night to parties with 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 River Song. See, rubbish. <sighs> Look, sorry, but I am in the middle of a thing. Okay. Doctor. What is going on? Yeah? I I need to talk to you. About what? There is a reason that I couldn't sleep. No 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 no. Where's Worry? <laughs> this is <Rory>! Yeah <laughs> He's thinking of Rory, Serious thing. face Rory, she's having an emotion. What? What's wrong, Amy? <laughs> you calling him? It is you do not turn! No! What? It's the wrong fish. Oh. Oh no! What happens in three hours? The pet shop's open. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. Okay, so. I. I d don't know what to say about that, to be honest. So he went to a party and all of a sudden the people turned into animals. <laughs> oh, by the way, I really, really hope that that goldfish wasn't in this little glass for too long. I really hope he has a big aquarium. Is it that what it's called in English? Like this glass with the water in it? 
And I really hope he has a big one. Like normally and he just got taken out for the scene for two minutes and then was put back. Because I care for the safety of the animals. Or maybe it wasn't a real fish at all. That would be the best. Maybe some plastic kind of fish. But it looked kind of real. But anyways. Was very funny. And I I laughed a lot. And I love this. Oh my gosh. When Amy got closer to the doctor. With this look in her eyes. And yeah. You know why I couldn't sleep. Why I stayed awake. <laughs> and he's like Rory. She is having an emotion. That was just the funniest thing of them all. I swear to God, this is exactly what I mean when I'm talking about this dream team and that I do want them to have more adventures together. This is what it is. This could be so great. Please, please don't let anyone die or go in the first two or three episodes. I want this for 45 minutes straight, like just this. But then again, laughing for 45 minutes like I just did, I don't know if I would still be able to breathe. Because that was just, wow, okay. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so, so, so very much. So, now we're getting to the fourth and last part for today. And this is going to be the good night. So I really hope that the goldfish will be turned back into someone and that everything will be back to normal i really hope so also the fly oh my gosh a poor thing amy why'd you do that also it was very very dangerous to just take that whatever it was newspaper and just push any buttons because i mean it's a tide is anything could go wrong by the push of just one button so don't ever do that again. Okay, let's get ready and set and go for the fourth episode for the good night. Come on. Hi there. Tell Marilyn, she's too late, she'll have to use the bike plane. Marilyn Monroe. Did you marry her again? That was Mary Monroe. He married her in the Christmas episode, right? I suppose. Do you do this every night? Oh. Hi. I conceal a euphonium. Guiltily, has that ever been attempted before? What? Oh, this. Oh, yeah, it's just one of those um, euphoniums. Oh. <laughs> Much as you're I busy. never thought Doing about what? them sleeping Actually in the towel. Actually, for once. You're my so friend. Cool. My best friend, so tell me what it is you do. Aww. I just helped out a possessed orchestra on a moon base. Before that, I prevented two supernovas, wrote a history of the universe, all in jokes, and did a bit of locum work in Brixton. Wow. That's actually very impressive. We're all such tiny parts of your life, aren't we? Mm. All the friends you meet just yeah. flicker in and out. Hey, that's a good night. I want to have fun. Give me back the fun. You are enormous parts of my life. Yeah, you and are. And you are all I ever remember. My life doesn't make any sense. I know. That's what I've been trying to talk to you about. I never had parents. And then you did whatever it was you did and rebooted the universe and, and suddenly I had parents. And I remember both lives in my head, both of them in my head at the same time. And it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, but it shouldn't be. Mm. The thing is, Amy, everyone's memory is a mess. Life is a mess. That's true. They couldn't have been on a party they never went to, or met someone for the first time and felt like they've known them all their lives. People think their memories are bad, but their memories are fine. Past is really like that. I love when he gives those speeches. 94, can you remember why? No. Hang on, did I? Did I drop in an ice cream? That can't be my saddest memory. Remembering ice cream is always sad. Okay. 
What happened after you dropped the ice cream? Nothing. I, I cried. Aubrey? She looked like she... She had a funny dress, a night dress. <laughs> she had red hair. What? Do we not see the doctor anymore? He's gone. I don't understand. Where and why? What did she say to you? Cheer up. Have an ice cream. Uh-huh. Simple. A long time ago, you got the best possible advice on how to deal with that. So, I suggest you go and give it. Okay, okay, so I ask you a big, important question about life, and you're basically telling me to go and buy myself an ice cream. No. Do you get scared on ghost trains? I get a bit scared, so is it okay if I hold your hand? Okay. It, it was, well, it's very interesting that the bad night was way funnier than the good night, and the good night was more melancholic and sad. <laughs> but I don't know. That's really strange. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Okay. I Many impressions, many little different storylines. I wonder why Rory wasn't in the last one. Maybe there's a reason for it. I just don't know. Or maybe, I, I don't know. I really don't. But I think it's nothing, that, like the reason is nothing too big. He just, he wasn't somewhere else. So he was still sleeping. I don't know. But the story with the ice cream was actually cute. And I'm asking myself if this is something to do with the very first episode that we're about to see tomorrow. I don't know. Will we go back into like Rory's childhood again? I mean, I would love to do that. She was such a cool kid, but I think we won't because we have already seen so much of her as a kid in various episodes. So actually only two, as far as I remember, only two. I, I'm not trying to guess because I'm bad at guessing. I always forget something and then I'm always wrong. So I'm not going to guess. I don't know, I have absolutely no clue where all this is gonna lead to or what the first episode is going to be about, but I enjoyed all those episodes so much and I'm happy that they are here. Also, what I do know about Series 6 is that it was like broadcast in two different parts and there was a pause in between that I won't do, but I, I know you had it. I'm very sorry for you that you had to wait so long for new episodes in the middle of the series. I don't want to talk about all of those minisodes too much because I do not know if either of them are very important for the story like of the future. And I do actually want to watch the next episode now. So I'm going to leave you now with all this happiness and cheerfulness. Is that even a word? I don't know. And um, if you are celebrating carnival, is there a carnival in Great Britain? I even, I, I don't know. Or in the USA. I have absolutely no idea about carnival in other countries. And yeah, if you're celebrating it go celebrate it have much fun if you do not then just don't <laughs> and i will see each and every single one of you tomorrow with the very first episode of the sixth series of doctor who i can't wait until tomorrow bye